<clears throat> this is the Yom Yom. These are sayings by the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Yosef Yitzchak. There are two characteristic expressions in Hasidut <clears throat> about a Jew. A Jew recognizes godliness and he senses the supernatural and everything. A Jew doesn't need any proof that God exists. <clears throat> and every Jew feels it. If you talk to a Jew and you start to explain to him that God exists, you bring all sorts of proofs, you know, who do you think created the world? Who do you think? Right? And so you can draw his attention to certain things, but the actual certainty of God is already there in his soul. It just has to be, he has to connect himself to it. Every Jew recognizes godliness and senses the supernatural. He doesn't have any proof for this. And anybody who really has any doubt about this, come with me one day to put the fill in on people. And you see that there's people that are totally not religious and that they don't even know how to put on the fill in. And they say, no, I'm not going to put on. They see other people doing this. They say, okay, I'll put on the fill in. But you have to show me how. What does the guy want to put on the fill in for? He's not superstitious at all. He doesn't think that it's going to in, in, improve anything necessarily. He knows that it's not going to hurt. But say, a Jew puts on tefillin, I'll put on tefillin. Something good's going to happen there. Who knows? Right? It's a good thing. Number two, a Jew neither wants or is able to be separated from God. It is impossible for a Jew to do a sin. Impossible. I, why do we see that there's Jews that do? Because they go crazy. They forget that they're Jews. They go temporarily insane. Right? Like people go temporarily insane. They take all of their money and they threw it off a bridge or something. <clears throat> the truth is these two expressions are really one. A Jew recognizes godliness and therefore he senses that what's above nature is what's really nature. He senses it. And that's why he cannot be separated or torn away from God. Just like a person can't tear away his own foot. Right? You give a person a, a saw, Automatic saw, cut your foot off. You're nuts. What are you talking about? It's your foot. Right? Why should I do that? That's crazy. To cut a piece of wood, you do. Cut a uh, so Why? Because it's it's my foot. Why should I cut it off? Well, what about being separated from God? I don't know what you're talking about. As soon as a Jew realizes that God is the source of his very being, then he doesn't want to be separate from God. I can't do that. Even more than it's impossible to cut off my own foot. It's a, a Jew can't do it. The problem is the Jews don't know. They don't know. People in the world go crazy, right? Nowadays, see people go crazy. They make all sorts of piercings and all sorts of bizarre things, and they hurt themselves, and they right, and they do it because they go temporarily mad. <clears throat> they take drugs and they do things because they go go insane. But a normal person doesn't hurt himself. <clears throat> does the same thing as that normal Jew does not hurt his connection to God. Okay, now story. <clears throat> 